So, Russ, this week, lots and lots of stuff that people are either really happy about or not so happy about. Because, of course, we had the election this week. And depending on which yeah. side of the aisle. But you know what the good thing is? There's a lot to be happy about as far as the housing market goes. There is indeed. So and, no matter uh, which side of the aisle we're on, mm -hmm. you got something really to be happy about when it comes to your house. So let's get into that right after this. Yeah. Uh, here we go. <laughs> so... Stats, stats, stats. I mean, I'm a geek, so I love data. I love stats. You're not a geek. You're a jock. What do you think but of stats? But I like looking up stats. What? Well, why you is know, that? I don't know. It's just I find it interesting to actually find this stuff up, you know, and and put it down on paper so that you have that history of how things were at that given moment in time. Okay. So it's it's kind of like you like it from a historical vantage point, then it's what you're saying. Yeah, so you I like to record the and, history of it. Yeah. And see me, I like to look at it as the future of it. Like where is the market going? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? So that's a really interesting prospect because I do think both sides of that are important though because you do need to know the history of the market in yeah. order to know what's going to happen in the future. Well, yeah, to be able to tell what's happening you you have to look back. So we look back, like we're in Q3. We're in quarter three. three. Yep. We, well, we just so, ended quarter three. We're yeah. in quarter four uh -huh. right now. So. so we can look back at quarter one and quarter two and quarter three now to see which way things are headed, yep. whether things are going up. Right. Because just going from last quarter to this quarter, it could be a blip. Yep, exactly. Whereas if it's a gradual... Although one of the reasons why for Living in Racine we went to a quarterly update rather than a monthly one is because we found the data was more consistent if we went in quarterly chunks. Yeah. Secondarily, quite frankly, there were some other things we wanted to cover on our channel that were not related to the real estate yeah, housing market. Because this isn't yeah. supposed to be a real estate channel per se, even mm -hmm. though we're both agents. And yes, if you are looking for an agent, come talk to us. But that's not really the purpose of the channel. But it is important for people to know where the market's going. And yeah. especially with they're just having but an election this week um, and all the things that are going on, yeah. that this is a really good time. And there's a lot of people talking about in regards to the election. There's a lot of people talking about what does this mean for the housing market? And in Racine and Kenosha, I do think and especially, of course, in Racine, which is what we're going to talk about today, I do think that the housing market is actually going to have a little bit of a boom because traditionally after an election people yeah. sometimes right for the month or two months right before an election they kind of hold back they don't take of any course. risks they're yeah. not sure what's going to happen there's a bit of uncertainty and so once things are certain no matter which way they're certain this happens whether it's a democrat or a republican that wins no matter yeah. which way Removing uncertainty does make people take mm -hmm. more chances or move forward in what they're doing because yeah. they don't feel like they're stuck. So let's talk about what Racine was in quarter three. We see that there was um, a drop in both the average price as well as the list price. Yeah, which slight is, drop. Yep, which mm -hmm. is kind of understandable. Um, the absorption rates, however, looks like, in fact, when we look at all three of those, they look yeah. like they're up a little bit. Yeah, so that's really good news. Yes. You know, we're it's still not up nearly where it needs to be. Across the board, we're over a month of inventory yeah. on all the areas. So we do receive Mount Pleasant and Caledonia. Correct. And they're up on all three of those. Correct. But what's interesting about Racine is it has actually gone over, whereas over one month now, just, just over one month, whereas it has been in the past under one month yeah. with, of, of the absorption rate. And absorption rate, for those of you that may not remember, absorption rate means how long it would take for us to wipe out the, the inventory that we have, um, how mm -hmm. long that that takes if we had no new listings. If yes. nothing else got listed tomorrow, how long would it take to exhaust what we have? And they're saying that's about a month. And so yeah. that's kind of an important thing. Um, yeah. So... Lastly, though, average days on markets um, was just over two weeks, which is the lowest that it's been this whole yeah, year. Yeah. That's that's kind of a big stat. Like, it's, yeah. 
because it means yeah. that people are buying stuff and they're still buying they're it buying quickly. quickly yeah. yeah. And I think maybe that's because of, again, that insecurity of interest rates. Nobody was quite sure, especially in quarter three, if you remember, there was a little dip down of interest rates and then it came back up yeah. again. So I think that uncertainty when people committed, they were like, yes, let's get it done. Let's, let's get go. it done now. Like, yeah. We're going to get into this house right away. Mm -hmm. We don't want to miss this. We, we want to be able to lock in that low and rate plus, as soon as we can. Q4, you've got Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. Yeah. And people don't necessarily want to be moving over that period of time. Yeah, absolutely. So quarter quarter three absolutely showed that for Racine. Now let's talk about Mount Pleasant for a little bit. Because in that one, what I found interesting was that there was a drop in the average list price. And we had talked about, I had talked about this last quarter. Because I think yeah. I was the only one who did the, the market update last quarter. We didn't do it together. But I know that I talked about it, and I've been talking about this for both Caledonia and Mount Pleasant, how their list prices were just skewed way too high in regards yeah, to their sale was. prices. Yeah. And I said, if you guys will bring down your list prices to the to closer to the sale price, you'll probably see an increase in your sale prices. And guess what happened in quarter three? Exactly that. Yes. You know, we they, they dropped their... The list prices came yep. down. List prices dropped by 70000 That wasn't and, just as an average list but price. But the sale price went up to the highest it's been all year. Exactly. Now, it only went up like $1,000. Yeah. But the thing is, it did... When the one came down, the other went up. And the reality mm -hmm. is, bring those list prices down even more. We're going to see an even higher um, yeah. sale price as far as going up goes. Bring so. it down to closer where it should be. Yep. And you will get more money for it. So for the your other thing, the absorption rate amount pleasant is now one point over one and a half months, which is awesome. Yeah. We really want it to be about three months to be a really healthy, more balanced market. But one and a half months is really good for Mount Pleasant. And yeah, that's it's the awesome. best it's been all year. Again, yeah, again, the best so it is is up on the year. And by the way, folks, these stats actually happened before the election happened this week. So even though yeah. you're seeing this after the election happened, these stats are actually from um, before the election happened. It's July, were, August, September. So yes, these are Q3 July, is... Yeah, July, August, September numbers, even though we're talking about this yeah. in November. We just had other videos we wanted to do before this. So, uh -huh. um, so this is July, August, September numbers. So yeah, absolutely. So the listings and the solds were both up to the highest that they've been all year. The, it, the absorption rate, which is the level of inventory, is up at the highest that it's been all year. And yep. the average days on market is also slightly up on last quarter. Yeah, not by much. Only, Only about a couple three of days. days but, but that's actually not bad. That doesn't no. hurt anything. That's mm -hmm. not going to... The average going up by a few days or... To be honest, the average even going up by a month is not something to be yeah. too scared about. It's so still only 25 days. So right. It's still only it's 25. Great. Even if it went up to 60 days, we'd still have a healthy market. Yes. It's not till you reach that 90, 120, 100, that you know, those higher averages that we run into trouble. But right now, not a problem. So that is where we are for Mount Pleasant. Yeah. Let's talk about Caledonia. Again, so. Caledonia doing a good job um, in some ways, but it's really interesting because what happened in Caledonia? Now, uh, well, I'll tell you this. List prices went up in Caledonia. Yeah. Which is crazy because it's the only market where we've seen the list prices really jump up. Yeah, they jumped up quite a bit, you know, they by did. about 40000 Yeah, so Mount Pleasant the came average. down as the yeah. list price of 70000 where uh -huh. Caledonia jumped up. But the difference is Caledonia needed to jump up a little bit because their yeah. sale prices also jumped up by fifty grand or forty grand. Yeah. So, so, you know, and actually their list prices only went up um, less than like twenty five grand. So they went. Yeah. Their list prices went up twenty five grand, but their sale prices jumped up forty grand. It's still that separation there between the list price and the sale but price. But that's a healthier. That's a healthier. That's a separa healthier yeah, yeah, it's a healthier separation because uh -huh. both of them went up. Because in reality, when you think about it, so the list prices went up twenty five grand, mm -hmm. right? But the sale prices went up forty grand. So that's closing that gap. Yeah. That gap between list and sale is coming is, is a smaller margin. And that is that key, is that smaller margin of that gap. Like we want that gap to be small, not big. 
Yep. When the gap is too big, when list prices are unreasonable, it drives buyers away from the market. Yeah, if it, there's like, too much of a difference. If, there's, if, if people are being unrealistic on their list prices and they're like way out here in left field, people buyers think, oh, go, I can't afford buyers, that. So well, it's not even just away. they can't afford it. Buyers go, are you crazy? And they don't yeah. even go look at it because they're yeah. like, that's a crazy price and it's a crazy seller. I don't want to deal with a crazy person. So yep. I want to deal with somebody who's reasonable. So that's why that gap between list and sale is so important. Yep. And that's actually looking a lot better in Caledonia. Um, looking at the sale to list price, again, we're right in there where it should be, right at the 100%, 98 Like That's pretty much where we've been for the last couple of years is right at that list price to sale yeah, price. Yeah, it's just over 100% of but sale to But to assess. me, the other big thing that jumped in Caledonia is that absorption rate. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, my it's goodness. close to two months worth there. Yes. We have almost two months of inventory in Caledonia. Yeah. Now, well, look at how many, how many new listings there were. Yes. 127 new listings yes, over absolutely. the quarter period. Yep. And only 94 sold. Whereas yeah. the rest of the year, we were like, that was like 35, uh, yeah, like almost 35 houses more, more than whereas in the in the last for the rest of the year we've only been like 20 houses listed more per month yeah whereas there are 35 more listings in this yeah. third quarter so that's like super amazing and so Ada is holding their price in Caledonia yes, but they are holding their prices they're getting so more rate. inventory so that's what's interesting is there's more inventory in Caledonia the well say the prices have gone up but there's more inventory Yep. The absorption rate is healthier, yep. which means people are not, but their list prices are also not unreasonable to their sale prices. No. So you've got reasonable sellers selling really good houses. So right now, Caledonia is the market to it be. It's a really it's, good market. If you can afford to get into Caledonia, that's the market you want to be yeah. in as far as quarter three shows and us. days on market is not much different really no. add, a, add a week on to what Racine was yep. I mean Racine was at about two weeks yep and Caledonia is at three weeks which is pretty normal because when your list price is higher when it's above the yeah. average so the average for all of southeastern Wisconsin right now is 315 I think isn't it I think it's 315 for the average of all of southeast Wisconsin Ar around that mark yeah, yeah. 317 and Caledonia's average sale price last month was 390 and their average list price was 480. So that tells you that, um, you know, even though there's a hundred grand between those two, that's actually kind of how Caledonia trends. Yeah. Caledonia does kind of trend with that, you know, big gap between the sale and the list price. I mean, beginning of the year, they were 320 to 406. That's an $86,000. Um, quarter two, they were 349 to 454. That's over a hundred thousand dollar difference. And Quarter three, we're at three ninety to four eighty, so we're now ninety thousand. So eighty, hundred, ninety. It's all within that same fluctuation. Uh -huh. I think we're going to end the year very much in that ninety thousand range, most likely a ninety thousand dollar range gap. But again, the higher price the house is, the bigger those gaps sometimes are. Yes. When you have lower price houses, the gap tends yep. to be lower. So, but Caledonia is the market right now. It but it's nice like. to see it moving because what happens is in the market, this is typically for a move up buyer. Yes. That price point is typically a move up buyer. Correct. Which then frees the cheaper houses for the yes. first time buyer. Absolutely. If there's no move up buyers, there's no first time buyers. Correct. Because they haven't got anything to buy. Right. And that's so important. It is really important, to be honest, that places like Mount Pleasant and Caledonia get listed in this fourth quarter. Yeah. Get your house listed. Get it on the market and move up. Like, get into a new construction. Do something, you know, like, if hopefully, or find that next house for you. Find that forever home if you haven't yeah. yet. Or maybe you're going into a downgrading situation in Caledonia. Like, maybe you're at, you know, you're a you're retiring you're ready to go into retirement and you're like you know i want to split half my time on the yeah. road or you've got empty time. nesters you well know. you've got people who maybe don't want that huge big house anymore they just want to get a nice condo that's you know easy maintenance something like that and then they uh -huh. also buy an rv so winter time they're going down to florida for three to six months coming back up that here sounds for our pretty nice... good actually <laughs> <laughs> Coming back up here to Wisconsin, I'm not ready to give up on our regular market yet. Not quite yet. Um, but Caledonia is definitely the market to be watching.
watching and definitely the market that you want to be getting into um, even though their prices are rising, they seem to be very stable and they seem to be yeah. very solid as a market. The fact that their absorption rate has gone up, their days on market has gone up a slight bit to a more stable level, not to the instability. Yes, their prices have gone up, but that was just in quarter three. I think overall for the year, we're going to see their prices have not gone up a lot this year. I think we're going to see for the year, I think we're going to see their prices have probably gone up the normal five to six percent year on year as they yeah. should so uh, because earlier in the year it was much less so when we see that overall picture so what does that tell us well what does it tell us about the market as a whole it tell us that the market is improving it's very healthy yeah we've got lots of inventory coming yep. on the market which is really really good because for a long time we've been short of inventory absolutely it's still not back to our best levels right um, but it's going that way. It's trending in that direction. Yes. And that's why your love of the history of the stats yeah. and my knowledge of what happens generally futuristically, like knowing uh -huh. about elections and how they affect the housing market and things like that. Yeah. I mean, we've already seen this election has affected the wall, has affected Wall Street and and the, just the skyrocketing. And of course, that's leveling out a little bit now as well. But just the way that, that the financial markets have gotten a little bit more confidence with this election yeah, result yeah so is the housing market because as as the housing market is going to be going better and better and at least in southeast wisconsin now we can't speak for the rest of the country yeah. we're only talking about our area which is southeast wisconsin but we're seeing some really positive trends so if you yeah. are ready to move us so sure. um we definitely see that that is a very positive thing so Yay, our market seems to be doing even better in quarter three and looking like from everything we've been looking at the last couple of days um, since the election that this, you know, this market is actually becoming quite robust. So yes. that's a good thing. So if you found any value in this market update, do us a favor, click like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And you know what? Drop us a comment below this week as to will you be considering buying a house in the next year? So are you considering yeah. buying a house in the next 12 months? Just say yes or no. If you are considering that, hey, this might be a good time for you, that you want to buy a house, don't worry. We're not going to spam you on YouTube. We don't have any of your details. In fact, most of your logins are, you know, nondescript names and things like that. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, if you want more details on anything and you want to know specifically on your situation, of course, you can always email us at Kimberly at TAMTHomes.com. All our communication goes through my email because I handle the communication yeah. side of our business. Um, and then I give you Russ for texting and stuff like that. For We're not going to yeah. talk about what next week is. We'll let it be a surprise. I do also want to remind everybody, though, because when this video comes out, this video comes out on Saturday the 9th, which is the Racine Holiday Parade. Yeah. And we are going to be downtown. So if you are seeing this when this video first comes out, we're going to be downtown just before the parade, as long as it's not like absolutely yeah. pouring rain. And we're going to be um, down there talking about living in Racine and how this channel can benefit people. And yeah, we're going to be on Monument Square. So yep. Yep. if Russ you're will be sitting on Russ will be sitting on Monument Square. I'll be probably running around through the crowd. He'll be my he'll be my anchor. And I'll be like, you know, <laughs> shoom, going back, back so, and forth yeah. to him. Don't forget, come up and say hi. Absolutely. We'd Come see us. We'll you. be in Monument Square on the 9th of November. Yeah, we'll be there from about 4 o'clock, Yep, I from about imagine. 4 o'clock, probably to at least Parade 6, maybe 7. Parade starts about half 5, isn't it? I can't remember right now. Watch our video Watch from last video. week. It tells you, it tells you last times. week. I can't remember the exact, because we plan to be there early, so I don't remember exactly what time it's supposed to start. And to be yeah. honest, it's a parade. They don't always yeah. start on time. No. Um, so, but yeah, that's the thing to keep in mind. We will be there. We hope to see you. And please, if you are at the parade this weekend, please, please, please come and find us and tell us what you want to see on this channel going forward. Because we yeah. would love to have some input back. So on Saturday, come see us. We'll be down at Monument Square and you'll at least be able to see this handsome <laughs> face. If it's cold, he'll probably be wearing his Santa beard for at least some of it. I love my Santa hat on for sure. Yeah, yeah maybe not the beard because that would hide <laughs> his face too much. But um, yeah, so come and see us. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. So thanks for joining us again, guys. And... Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye.